Israel-Gaza-Iran War News Live Update Several Israeli troops killed in explosion, Biden asks Hamas to show it wants truce. After the UN Security Council adopted his three-phase plan, Joe Biden urged Hamas to show it desires a quick ceasefire. And blast in southern Gaza killed four Israeli soldiers the IDF says it destroyed West Bank Explosives Lab and arrested eight. The IDF claimed to have destroyed an explosives laboratory, killed a terrorist and arrested eight others in an 18-hour West Bank operation. In an update released on X, the IDF said both it and the Israel Security Agency, known as Shin Bet, found and destroyed the facility in Jordan Valley, which had more than 80 devices and other explosive barrels. In a suspect car, the IDF found and confiscated weapons. Over 2,000 aid trucks await Gaza entry. According to European Civil Protection and Humanitarian Relief Operations, almost 2,000 vehicles carrying humanitarian relief and commercial products are waiting in Egypt to reach Gaza. Due to ongoing military operations, Rafah remains blocked. On X, the EU called for safe, uninterrupted humanitarian access. Aid deliveries into Gaza depend on Egypt's Rafa border crossing. For 2.3 million Israeli besieged people, it's their sole link to the outside world. Egyptian Foreign Minister Sami Shoukri says the bridge cannot reopen until Israel gives Palestinians control of the Gaza border. Israel took Gaza's entire border with Egypt, including the crossing, last month during its Rafa battle against Hamas. Posting on X, on June 7, the WHO's Occupied Palestinian Territory Office said, Rafa is the main health and humanitarian border and must be promptly open to let aid stranded at Al Arish into Gaza. Hospitals and health institutions will be unable to function without this, further weakening the health system. Secretary of State at Gaza Emergency Aid Summit at an emergency relief session for Gaza in Jordan, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres speaks. It aims to bring together leaders and aid authorities to solve Gaza's food, water, and energy shortages. The UN, Jordan, and Egypt are hosting the summit, which US Secretary of State Antony Blinken is attending. Guterres said the speed and intensity of destruction and slaughter in Gaza is beyond anything in my years as Secretary General. Conditions are atrocious and public health is in crisis. He stated Gaza's hospitals are in shambles and fuel is short. Over 1 million Gazans lack potable water and are starving. Over 50,000 youngsters need acute malnutrition therapy. Explaining the three-phase ceasefire proposal. UN Security Council accepts three-phase ceasefire proposal to resolve Israel-Hamas violence in Gaza. 14 of 15 council members supported the U.S. drafted resolution, while Russia abstained. The ceasefire proposal urges both sides to follow the accord without delay and without condition. What are those phases, and what have Israel and Hamas stated about the proposal since their adoption? First Stage On May 31, U.S. President Joe Biden described the proposal's three phases at the White House. Israeli soldiers would withdraw from all densely populated Gaza regions during a six-week full and total ceasefire in the first phase. Hamas would free an undefined number of hostages, including women, the elderly, and the wounded, in exchange for hundreds of Palestinian detainees. As Palestinian citizens return home, 600 trucks of humanitarian aid would enter Gaza daily. During the ceasefire, Mr. Biden suggested Israel and Hamas would negotiate a lasting ceasefire. If negotiations take longer than six weeks, the truce will last as long as needed to reach a settlement, he said.